Mushroom Wonderland. Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of Mushroom Wonderland. And on this episode, I wanna cover a topic that gets brought up a lot, and especially during mushroom season, like right now, I see this going around on the internet and it has a tendency to drive me kind of crazy, but it is the debate about whether to cut or to pluck a mushroom, does it make a difference? And there's a lot of people online who wanna go and try to correct people who have plucked a mushroom out of the ground, and they say that you need to cut that mushroom um, if if the species is to survive. And so there's a lot kind of behind this topic. I made a video covering this a couple of years ago and I had a ton of great mycologists chime in on it, uh, on the many different facets of this subject. So on this episode, I wanna talk a little bit about whether you should cut or pluck a mushroom or if it makes any difference at all. So lately on the internet, I've seen a huge influx of people saying that you have to cut the mushroom off, you can't pull it out of the ground or it's gonna cause harm to the organism. And I do understand that this topic comes from a good place. This is uh, people trying to be protective of nature and uh, you know, often kind of running on their feelings and perhaps a little bit of misinformation. And I'm not trying to like put anybody down or be harsh or anything like that, but I just wanna talk about exactly what's going on when there's a mushroom growing in the woods um, and a lot of people seem to have this confusion with fungus versus plants. And so if you pull a plant out by the roots, yes, you are going to kill it. That is not good for plants to pluck them out by the roots. If you're picking, you know, berries like strawberries or blackberries, you don't want to rip the whole plant out of the ground. Um, obviously it's just, it's not going to grow back, but fungus is a little bit of a different creature. In fact, it's a way different creature. It's its own a kingdom on the eukaryotic tree of life. So fungi is separate from plants entirely. And fungi is an organism that grows underground or inside of wood um, or in decaying matter. And then it creates what we call fruiting bodies or mushrooms that are actually sort of akin to flowers um, because spores are a little bit more like pollen than they are like seeds. So if you could imagine mushrooms are sort of the flowers of the organism that grows underground or in wood. So when you're plucking a flower, you're not tearing the whole organism out of the ground. You're just pulling that one thing off and it won't kill the organism. Could it harm it in a plant? Yes, a plant could come to harm if you ripped all the flowers off. But a fungus is again different and fungus can clone itself from just one single cell. It's just crazy how well fungi clones and it often has a life cycle process where it will um, fragment its mycelium or kind of shatter itself and then turn into a whole bunch of other little organisms. It takes such a little amount to proliferate a new colony of fungus through asexual cloning, if you will. So the mushrooms themselves really maybe aren't that important to the progeny of the species. But here I wanna show you an illustration with a true mushroom farm. So this is a shiitake mushroom that's growing on a block. And yeah, you can cultivate a lot of mushrooms. And when I show you underneath, let me pull it out of here. You can see this frostiness on here. This is the vegetative part of the fungus. The fungus is completely grown into these wood chips. And uh, then you can see some of its flowers or its fruits or fruiting bodies, if you will, growing off the side of it. And if I was to take these um, shiitake and just rip them right off the side, this fungus is not gonna suffer at all from that. In fact, sometimes new little pins will grow right out of the spot where I plucked them off. Um, you could cut them, but then you're gonna get dead little pieces that can get moldy and stuff like that that can introduce um, a mold to this whole little kit right here. Um, but in nature, this kind of stuff, happens all the time. Did you know Western lowland gorillas actually eat fungus as part of their diet? And they certainly don't have pocket knives and they're not cutting the mushrooms there in the jungle. So um, mushrooms do not care whether you pluck or cut them. You're getting plants and fungus confused. I'll just get that out of the way. That being said, it is from a good place. It's like 
you know, that part of your heart that wants the organism to survive and that's sweet, but to go around and proclaim that you need to cut them off at the base for the rest of the fungus to survive is just absolute misinformation. So there's the short answer. Um, you know, a lot of people will cut mushrooms and in fact, I would take um, a knife or a pair of scissors and actually cut this off before I store it because I don't want the substrate in my food and it will get tangled up into the gills and stuff like that. So, you know, now I have this chunk and this is a huge mycelial colony right here. I could take this and put it into some more wood chips and it will continue to grow a new colony apart from its other colony. So, you know, it is nothing like plants. They, you know, and even plants can be cloned fairly easily. Nothing like with fungi though. Uh, fungi is very easily clonable. So, you know, you can pluck a mushroom, cut the base off and then throw this into the woods. There's a good chance that this will grow into a new fungal colony. The main reason I cut mushrooms simply to keep the dirt out of my food. I like to treat mushrooms as if they're really good produce like that, you know, nice and clean cut and uh, no dirt getting mixed up with my shiitakes here. But um, these mushrooms are gonna be just fine. I'm gonna wait for these to get a little bit more mature in a few days, but this mycelial colony is not harmed in any way by plucking those mushrooms off. Most mushroom growers actually pluck oyster mushrooms off of the farms. Now let's talk about ectomycorrhizal mushrooms. So these are mushrooms that associate with trees and does it hurt them to pull the fruiting bodies out of the ground? Are you disconnecting some sort of a symbiotic relationship with the tree that's gonna cause harm to either the tree or the fungus? And again, the answer is no. These mycelial colonies are made up of millions and trillions of little strands of hyphae and to rip a few of those out can actually stimulate some growth. And there have been studies over the years um, about plucking fruiting bodies out of the forest and then checking it year to year to see what the fruiting body production looked like. And um, they plucked every single fruiting body they could find. It had no difference whatsoever. You can easily Google all of this stuff. Um, it's just basic information that you can find nowadays on the internet. A lot of that stuff was wives' tales stuff. People had a, a bit of an understanding about how plants worked and were baffled by fungus. So they just lumped them in with plants. In fact, Carl Linnaeus considered them plants. He's the father of modern taxonomy. And they were considered plants until around the 1960s. And then they started to, um, you know, science started to understand that they were their own organisms. So we, you know, <laughs> we aren't very far in the evolutionary scale as far as like human intellect. So we're just understanding these organisms, but you know, the more you know, the better. And if you can just look at a million different examples of plucking mushrooms, you know, deer eat mushrooms, slugs and snails and insects eat mushrooms in the forest. None of them are cutting these mushrooms off clean. Some people think that when you cut a mushroom off that it actually can create a little bit of bacteria. And that holds true with mushroom farming. I like to get all of that uh, vegetable material off of there, like, like this one. If I just cut that and left that stem right there, it could get green mold and I don't want it to do that because this could fruit a couple of times. But I'm gonna pluck this whole mushroom right off the side of there and that way I don't have like a stump hanging off that could get bacterial. So, you know, it doesn't make a difference. I'm just gonna say this once and for all. I'll put a link in the description of this video to the full length um, cut or pluck video that's got like 20 or more famous and really learned mycologists who chime in on this. So I hope that cleared some things up. Again, I'm not trying to like put anybody down for things that they believe that maybe their grandpa or somebody in their life had told them once upon a time. But the fact is that it doesn't hurt the mycelium to pluck mushrooms. Um, but it is nice to not get that dirt in your basket. I'm putting this out there because I want people to stop this pick shaming. They have an emotional response to the way that other people are picking mushrooms and they're trying to tell people how they should pick their own mushrooms based on their emotional state. You know, mushrooms have been around for hundreds of millions of years. And so to think that you are really gonna like put an end to the species by the way that you're harvesting mushrooms or the way that somebody else is harvesting mushrooms is just like such a falsity and I just hope that um, people can get over that. It's, it's fueled 
by misinformation and then backed by a lot of ego and self-righteousness that isn't warranted. So um, pick shaming, that's a whole nother video topic. A lot of people do that and they will shame you if you're not picking mushrooms the way that they think you should. But you're a child of the earth and you deserve to go out into the forest and discover your natural surroundings. And if you don't have a knife with you, it's okay. You can pick the mushrooms and you can talk to any mycologist and they'll tell you the same thing, that it doesn't make a difference to the fungus whether you cut or pluck. Make sure to go to mushroomwonderland.com. You can get some merch. You can check out some of my blogs or sign up for one of the forays that come up in the fall. There's also information leading you to my college courses. And uh, you can find me over on Patreon if you want to help support me there for like a $5 membership. That would be really awesome to help me pursue my dream to make fungi my life and to continue to bring you these videos. And uh, follow me on all the other social media. And until the next episode, much love everyone. Peace out.